What if I told you that this, this, and this are made completely with AI? You see, there are a lot of AI video generators, but I've found one perfect for AI influencers. I will also show you how to maintain consistency with AI videos. Additionally, at the end, I will show you how to get a free guide to AI influencers and how to monetize them by selling exclusive content with the OF&D Fans alternative. You see, the best platform to sell your exclusive content is FanView. FanView is one of the very few platforms that actually allow AI-generated content. I prefer using FanView to other platforms because they pay you fast. And you won't just wake up one day to see that your account has been banned. Now on that note, there's a free guide on creating and monetizing your AI influencer by the people at Imagine Education. This guide, along with my videos, is what you need to start your AI influencer. They also have a YouTube channel like mine. Link is in description. For further info on how to set up your FanView account without any errors, watch till the end. Let's get started. On that note, I would advise you to watch the whole thing as making consistent AI videos can be extremely tricky. Also, remember to like the video, it will be worth it. So in order for us to create videos for our influencers, we first need to create the AI influencer. Now, there are a lot of tools out there that you can use like Midjourney, but the best and the one I always recommend and is the most realistic out of all of them is Flux. One way to access Flux is by using Tensor Arts. So open up Chrome or any other browser and search for Tensor Arts. Then simply click on it. You should now be presented with this interface. As you can see, Tensor Arts is like an all-in-one AI hub. Okay. With so many tools, so many image generator models, and so many LoRa's, you can go over to models, or rather you can go over to AI tools. Here are some you can use. You could go back to AI models, and here you can see that it's not only Flux you can use. As I said, there are a lot of image models in LoRa's that far exceed what you might see anywhere else. Now let's cut to the chase and use Flux to generate our AI influencer models. For more, I'll use a specific Flux template. I've got the link here. If you want it, check out the link in the description. I prefer it because it just generates better results than the others. You can recognize or identify this template with these images here. If you don't see it, then you aren't using the same template. But enough of that, and let's generate our influencer. Simply type in the prompt. At this stage, the prompt doesn't need to be too detailed. Though as we progress, the prompts are going to get a little bit trickier. Once you're done with that, you can increase the images per run. Then leave everything as they are and click on go. Now it has produced the images. As you can see, they all look realistic. All of them are good. If you want a more detailed guide on how to create AI influencers with Flux, check out my other videos. At this point, simply choose the one you want to use throughout this tutorial and download it. Then simply create a new tab and open up ChatGPT. Once it's open, upload the picture that we just downloaded. Then simply tell ChatGPT this. Of course, the link to all these would be in the description. Once you're done, hit enter. Soon, you will see why we did all this. Now it's finished, and ChatGPT has processed it. But we still have more to do. Tell ChatGPT this with this prompt. The summary of it is that we are indicating to ChatGPT that this is our base prompt. And if you've been with me throughout, you'd know that we almost never change the base prompt. So we are just assigning the duty to ChatGPT. For the videos, we will only change the action, location, and clothing. When you're done, hit enter to generate it. Then ChatGPT's memory should be updated. Now we need to start generating the video prompts. Simply tell ChatGPT to you just that. The four main things you're going to type are what the influencer is doing, where she is, and her clothing. No need to add the base prompt, as when ChatGPT generates, it will do it for us, as we prompted earlier. Now it's done, and as I said, it automatically added our base prompt. Most importantly, it separated the base prompt from the variable prompts. So how do we go about generating these videos? There are a lot of AI video generators like Runway or Kling, but none of those tools compare to the 100% free tool I'm about to show you called Minimax. To access it, create a new tab and search for Halo AI. Don't be confused, it is through Halo AI that we can access Minimax, so click on it. The link is in the description, as always. Of course, make sure that you're translating the page because it is in Chinese at the moment. Once it's done loading up, go over here and click on Create. It should lead you to Minimax. Make sure that if you aren't fluent in Chinese, translation is turned on. Now, all you need to do is paste in our prompt. Also, make sure that word optimization is turned off. Then click on Generate and it should start. The video generating won't be like our influencer, but we used a base prompt to keep certain things consistent. If, however, you watch the entire video, I will show you how to maintain close to 100% consistency. Now it's done. 
As you can see, it doesn't quite look like her. There are a few differences here and there, though it looks ultra realistic. But as I said, this isn't what will make the character consistent. So I'd advise you to watch without skipping, because the next processes are going to be tricky. Now, let's try generating another one. For that, simply go back to ChatGPT. Then, add new prompts in the variable aspects by just giving a new action, location, and clothing if you want. Hit enter and let ChatGPT process it. It's done, so you can just copy and paste. Make sure it is the same base prompt as ChatGPT could tweak it. After that, click on generate, be sure to download the other generation. With this, you will see that the consistency we are creating is for new generations, meaning certain features would still be consistent here. Now it's done. As I said, it looks similar to the previous generation, but not quite enough for our influencer. Don't worry, stay tuned, as I will show you how we are going to fix that. One thing though, these videos aren't exactly social media type content. An example of a type of video we can post is either a selfie video or dancing. The AI isn't advanced enough for dancing, but it is for selfie videos, though it strongly depends on your prompts. Let's do that now. Go back to ChatGPT. It seems I've run out of free plans, but I can edit this. The summary is that we are instructing the AI to create prompts for the selfie video where the hands don't move, the head moves around a little bit, she's smiling, and she also pans the camera. Most importantly, we are saying that the camera's point of view is the phone. With this prompt, you can create selfie videos, so click on send and I will change this to the mini version. Simply copy it and go back to Minimax and paste it. If ChatGPT omitted any part, just add it. It seems to have omitted the part about the camera's point of view. Of course, to get every prompt we used in this video, join the Discord server under the AI video channel. Be sure to also indicate that the phone is not showing. When done, click on Generate. Now it's done with the selfie video. This one looks good, but it looks a bit far from our influencer. Though with the technique I will show you next, we should be able to fix it. If you don't like it, you can try regenerating. As I said, at this moment, there is no limit to the number of videos you can generate, so keep trying until you get videos that look similar to your influencer. Then you can proceed to use the method I'm about to show you. But let's regenerate it first. It's done and it looks better, so simply just download it. Now, to maintain pure consistency with our own influencer, because we only managed to maintain consistency with the character of our video, which doesn't quite look like our influencer yet. Though for this to work, the video characters need to be consistent, as I have just showed you. Now, quickly create a new tab and search for MyoCreate. Click on AI Face Swap. Head over to Video Face Swap, then drag in the video. I'll use this one. After that, just drag in the face of our influencer. Then click on Face Swap Now done, and as you can see, it looks very similar to our influencer. Therefore, maintaining consistency. So, at the very least, using the method I showed you, try to maintain consistency with Minimax so that you can face swap it here afterward. However, if you tried to face swap another picture, MyoCreate won't let you. Let's fix that. This is the alternative I found. Click on Free Face Swap. You might need to sign in. If you sign in with your Google account, you get about 60 credits. With normal mail, you get 30 credits. Stick around, and I'll show you how to get more. Once that's done, upload the video. Then bring in the photo of our influencer. Click on start, then continue. It should start face swapping. Getting more free credits with this tool is easy. That's why I like it. Basically, with each new account, you get about 30 credits, so you can just open up a temp mail. As you can see, it will give you a temporary email to use and create an account with. You can use it to set up new accounts on FakeFace. It should give you 30 credits. FakeFace is done with the face swap, and as you can see, it has done a wonderful job with no watermark. Now, there's a free guide by the people at Imagine Education. It contains most of the things you need to set up and create your influencer. Not only that, it shows you how to monetize it. One way to monetize it is by setting up an exclusive content page. However, if you search for it, you'll see that OnlyFans strictly prohibits AI influencers. But there's a much better alternative. Create a new tab and search for FanView. As the name suggests, it's a place to sell your exclusive content, whether as an AI influencer or just a normal person. Even Aitana Lopez is a creator here. Psst, just sign in. Once you're here, click on Start Earning. Then fill in your details. Just simply snap your ID and undergo the liveness check. This has to be yours, but after this, you can post for your AI influencer. But don't worry, you will get approved instantly. 
then you can start selling. In this article here, it says that for the first few months, you keep a whopping 85% of your monthly earnings, which is better than other platforms. Isn't it great? Be sure to check out the link to Imagine Education and FanView in the description. Also subscribe for more AI and making money content like this.